uh, Commonwealth Youth Games uh, qualifiers is, is unique to Bulls. We've never really had that before and what we're doing is we're taking a lot of uh, inspiration from the uh, elite squad players who won medals at the Commonwealth Games last year in Glasgow and what we're trying to do is prepare our players, our younger players, in exactly the same manner so that we can uh, try and emulate what they've done out in Samoa in September of 2015. We've uh, had a number of regional qualifiers that have gone round, right around Scotland with over 150 odd uh, players getting involved and they've come here today to Glasgow Indoor Bowling Centre for the, the final part of that. Absolutely delighted with the response uh, by a number of clubs. There's been some uh, players who see themselves as just outdoor players playing uh, and others who just play indoors. The fact of the matter is that a number of young players have been excited by this and wanted to come along to try their best to see if they, they are good enough to come along and, and represent Scotland in Samoa. But in saying that, it's part of a bigger journey that we want to actually t uh, talent ID and try and uh, draw from a bigger pool of talent that we have in Scotland and this is just one part of that journey. I'm always impressed with the talent that I see in young Scottish bowlers. I mean, the, there's a lot of dedication. I mean, I believe that there was a number of players down here yesterday for three to four hours practicing just to get used to what was going on in the, in the, on the carpets. That's the kind of players that we are looking for because that's the kind of players who are dedicated, who are focused on what they want to achieve and that are going to help us to be able to keep Scotland at the top end of World Bowls. This selection process is going to actually give us the two best players that we have at the moment at that age group for Samoa which is fantastic, but let's be honest here, we've got a lot of really talented youngsters here. These are people that we would expect to come through the ranks in later years to play under 25, senior international, um, and it's giving them a taste of what it's going to be to be an elite or a high performance player. So all of these players that are winners, they're going to be good in the future, and they shouldn't be disappointed if they're not winning, but our two players that win today will be our top players going forward. No words can really describe it, I'm speechless to be honest, but yeah, I'm really excited as well. <laughs> Never thought it would be possible. <laughs> the whole process has been pretty hard, all the games are really close and it's, it could have went either way, so I'm just glad I managed to stick in and do it in the end. Going to, to Samoa would be an absolute amazing opportunity, it would be like a tick off my bucket list. <laughs> Final there against Liu is probably my toughest game by far, but you'd expect that it'd be in the final. I just really wanted to win it, especially in the last game there, because I'd came so far. I just feel so happy right now and privileged that Bull Scotland has given us this opportunity to go to Commonwealth Youth Games and so on. It'd be a really good experience to compete at that level.